Now, Iran's foreign minister has issued a fresh warning amid the Israel-Hamas war and said that the continuation of crimes against Palestinians will receive a response from the rest of the Axis and Israel will be responsible for the consequences. The Iranian minister said that the displacement of Palestinians and cutting water and electricity to Gaza Strip are considered war crimes. Israel has been pounding Gaza in retaliation for a Hamas rampage in Israel that has killed at least 1,300 people in the deadliest attack on civilians in Israeli history. On the other side, more than 1,500 Palestinians have been killed. All right, viewers, joining us on the broadcast is my colleague Arzu Seth. Arzu, over to you to give us more details on this. Uh, well, yes, U uh, U.S. Defense Min uh, Secretary Lloyd Austin is set to visit war with Israel uh, today, uh, where he will meet the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu along with other members of the cabinet. And uh, speaking to the reporter, senior U.S. official said Austin is looking forward to speak in depth uh, with Israeli leaders about their operational planning and their objective for this conflict. Uh, in fact, Secretary Austin will be discussing Israeli security assistance need there. And uh, on, uh, you know, on uh, Thursday, Austin said that the U.S. military was placing no uh, conditions on its security assistance to Israel. He also said Washington expected Israel's military to do uh, to do the right thing in prosecuting its war against the Palestinian terrorist group Hamas. Uh, the United States has been rushing uh, air defenses and, you know, um, uh, munitions to Israel as it unleashes the most powerful bombing campaign in the 75-year-old uh, history of its conflict with the Palestinians. Israel is going to uh, and he ate Hamas, which ruled the Gaza still following the militant weekend attack. Right. Uh, of course, Arzu. Uh, thank you so much for joining in on the broadcast and presenting those details to our viewers. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also being joined by Colonel J.S. Sodhi on the broadcast. Uh, sir, what do you make of these developments? Uh, Jayanta Savri, it's my honor to win a new channel. I've just logged in. Can you please repeat your question as I couldn't hear a question, please? Right, sir, absolutely. Now, I mean, of course, the Iran foreign minister has now issued um, remarks. He's, um, he's, there's a fresh warning amid the Israel-Hamas war, and he said that the continuation of crimes against Palestinians will receive a response from the rest of the Axis and Israel. So, I mean, I mean, what is the Iranian foreign minister insinuating, and do you think Israel will take these threats Seriously, will they will they feel threatened? Well, Asabri, uh, Iran has got emboldened in the last few months because its trade with Russia and China is on an increase despite the economic sanctions put on it by USA. Secondly, the might of the military of Iran is growing. And on 2nd October this year, America's uh, intelligence agency CIA said that Iran is just two weeks away from making a nuclear bomb. So uh, Iran is now very confident of itself and its foreign minister issuing this statement means a lot of trouble in the Middle East in the times ahead. Uh, this statement by Iran is a clear warning to Israel that it should stop it uh, offensive in Gaza, else many more fronts will open up. Already the Hezbollah in northern Israel have started taking uh, pot shots at the Israeli army. They just destroyed an uh, armored carrier of the Israeli army yesterday. So the tensions in the Middle East are increasing and Iran being a major player in the Middle East is ensuring that it is sending the signals which Israel should pick up and end this conflict. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.